Mr. Chairperson, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm honored to deliver this statement on behalf of the member states serving as champion countries for the implementation, follow-up, and review of the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly, and Regular Migration, GCM. The GCM Champions Initiative is an open informal group of states committed to the effective implementation of the GCM with due regard to its 360 degree vision and guiding principles and grounded in the pursuit of achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Supported by the United Nations Network on Migration, the champions work to further the goals of the GCM by means of peer leadership, exchange and collaboration, guided by the realities and priorities of each country. We call on other states to join this collective initiative to broaden the platform of champions representing the full range of migration realities reflected in the GCM. Adopted at the Intergovernmental Conference in Marrakesh, Morocco, on the 10th and 11th of December 2018, and endorsed by the General Assembly in its Resolution 73-195 of the 19th of December 2018. The GCM represents a major contribution of multilateralism to address the challenges and harness the opportunities of international migration and human mobility through a comprehensive and cooperative approach anchored in guiding principles and values. These include human rights, non-discrimination, shared responsibilities, the recognition of migrants' development contribution, national sovereignty, and gender responsiveness. Since its adoption, the Secretary General has taken significant steps through the establishment of the United Nations Network of, on Migration to strengthen the UN system, support for states and all relevant stakeholders in pursuit of operationalizing the Global Compact. We commend the continuous support of the network in the form of guidance and practical tools to accelerate GCM implementation and its efforts to facilitate collective learning and the exchange of good practices through the Migration Network Hub. We also welcome the network's 21-22 work plan, including its strong focus on responding to the COVID-19 pandemic advancing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and meeting the challenges of climate change, all of which are issues that require common and collaborative responses. We recall that at the national level, we have taken concrete steps in the implementation of the GCM by incorporating the Global Compact in governmental approaches to migration including through the development of national implementation plans or by mainstreaming in existing plans and legislations. These efforts have been further supported by the establishment of 52 United Nations country-level migration networks around the globe. At the regional level, we take note of the organization of multiple successful GCM regional reviews and welcome their recommendations and outcomes as we look ahead towards the first International Migration Review Forum, IMRF, to be held in 2022. In this framework, the Kingdom of Morocco proposed to organize a ministerial meeting of the GCM champions throughout this year. This meeting will be an opportunity to coordinate common efforts in order to strengthen concrete measures for GCM implementation. The IMRF represents a unique opportunity to review the success of the GCM and to highlight current and emerging challenges in its implementation. We call on the continued leadership 
and engagement of states and other stakeholders to ensure a comprehensive and inclusive partnership towards a successful IMRF. In addition, we recall the vital role of the Migration Multipartner Trust Fund as the first and only financial mechanism for migration supporting GCM implementation in all its dimensions. We take note that the Migration MPTF currently funds the implementation of nine joint programs that cover a wide variety of teams in line with the Global Compact 360 degree vision. We appeal for the broadening of support beyond the traditional donor base as a clear demonstration of our collective commitment to pursue safe, orderly and regular migration. Mr. Chairperson, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in this high-level forum for the follow-up and review of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals, we emphasize the positive contribution of migrants in all their, their diversity for inclusive growth and sustainable development and their vital role in supporting SDG implementation. We also recall the substantive inputs of the Global Forum on Migration and Development in the high-level political forum showcasing its contribution towards the 2030 Agenda. Indeed, we have an opportunity at at this HLPF to articulate the GCM objectives we will need to accelerate to help reach the SDGs, ensuring an inclusive and resilient recovery from the pandemic while leaving no one, no one behind. In advance of the first IMRF, the HLPF also presents an opportune, an opportune moment to reflect on how to build synergies between these various global review processes and to ensure that migrants are mindfully included. The positive contributions of migrants and migration to advance inclusive growth and sustainable development, as well as cooperation to ensure safe, orderly and regular migration, are key elements of the Global Compact. The GCM, grounded in international law, calls for full respect for human rights and the human treatment of migrants regardless of migration status, and it's firmly grounded in the 2030 Agenda. While we underline the importance of coordinating international efforts to provide protection, assistance and support to migrants in vulnerable situations, we recall the shared responsibilities of countries of origin, transit and destination in promoting, protecting and respecting the human rights of all migrants. In this framework, we express our concern at the global trends of xenophobia, racism and discrimination experienced by migrants. While significant progress has been made to date, more effort is needed to accelerate both the implementation of the Global Compact on Migration and the achievements of the 2030 Agenda through the decade of action. The positive effects of migration should be harnessed to advance progress towards SDGs especially in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, which demonstrates at once both the important contribution of migrants to our societies and the acute situations of vulnerability that, may, that many of them face. The COVID-19 pandemic has substantially impacted migration flows and the human mobility around the world. With closed borders limiting regular migration routes and migratory journeys becoming increasingly dangerous. The pandemic has also created unprecedented setbacks 
to development gains and exacerbated existing and created new vulnerabilities faced by some migrants, including diverse groups of women and girls. While migrants have made remarkable contributions in frontline service sectors responding to the pandemic, many migrant workers have lost their jobs and many others face the grim reality of forced return. Remittances, which are the lifeline of the families of migrant workers, have been reduced in some regions as flows significantly decreased during the pandemic. It is crucial for states to cooperate in efforts to ensure dignified return and readmission, as well as sustainable reintegration strategies. A comprehensive approach to the current crisis presented by COVID-19 must include migrants in public health response without discrimination and support equitable access to COVID-19 treatments and vaccines. We call for their inclusion in national, regional and international efforts to mitigate and roll back the consequences of the pandemic, including through promoting safe, orderly and regular migration. This must also involve including migrants in measures being introduced to mitigate the economic downturn caused by the COVID-19. In recognition of the differentiated impact migrants have faced during the pandemic and will continue to face as we collectively recover, we reiterate the need to reinforce policies and practices to eliminate discrimination while stressing the importance of age and gender sensitive measures guided by the GCM. I thank you.